Princess Kate reassured and optimistic at Adelaide Cottage with George, Charlotte, and Louis. According to a royal analyst, Princess Kate will be reassured and optimistic at Adelaide Cottage with Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. The Princess of Wales underwent preventive chemotherapy after being admitted to the hospital in January of this year for stomach surgery. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Kate, 42, has as a result taken a leave of absence from her royal responsibilities in order to recover in privacy with her husband, Prince William, and their three children. The family of five resides at Adelaide Cottage on the Windsor estate of King Charles, close to Lambrook School, which is attended by George, 10, Charlotte, 8, and Louis, 5. The family reportedly spent some time at their country estate, Anmer Hall, on Norfolk Sandringham Estate over the Easter break. As the weather becomes better, Kate will reportedly enjoy spending time in her garden at her Windsor home, according to royal analyst Jenny Bond. I'm sure Catherine will find a great deal of comfort in her gardens and the joy of being outside during these months of recuperation, the speaker stated. It can certainly seem gloomy when recovering from major surgery, as winter in the UK can be rather dreary at best. Bond went on to say to Notebook, Nature and outdoor life have always given Catherine immense strength and inspiration. And the green shoots of springtime have a comforting, hopeful quality, particularly if you've planted the seeds yourself. She will have tapped into her passion for nature and gardening, maybe planting seeds with her kids and watching those first green shoots emerge. Fresh life. Fresh optimism. A fresh cycle. Kate has long promoted the benefits of going outside for both physical and mental well-being. Kate has never concealed her passion for the great outdoors over the years. She has mentioned her gardens with pride, as seen by her admission in 2012 that she grows her potatoes in sacks. With her Back to Nature garden, Kate debuted at the 2019 RHS Chelsea Flower Show. The Princess of Wales supported the RHS's school gardening campaign last year in an effort to introduce children to gardening and the outdoors. Princess Kate is in for a challenging week leading up to a significant choice made by Prince Louis. On Tuesday April 23, Prince Louis, the youngest child of the royal couple, will turn six. On their birthdays, the Prince and Princess of Wales nearly always share a brand new picture of their kids. Rather than hiring a skilled photographer, Kate, 42, has been taking the young royal's photos herself in recent years. But last month, Princess Kate faced criticism for acknowledging that she had altered a Mother's Day photo of herself with Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. After the images' inaccuracies were pointed out by online reviewers, Kate responded to the criticism on social media. She wrote, I do occasionally experiment with editing, just like many amateur photographers. I wanted to apologize for any misunderstanding that may have arisen from the family photo we shared yesterday. I hope Mother's Day was very lovely for everyone who celebrated. See? Later, the negative reaction to the picture raised questions about whether Kate and William will keep their birthday practice of taking brand new pictures of their kids. In order to steer clear of claims of digital manipulation, the couple may decide to hire a professional photographer if they decide to share a fresh portrait for Prince Louis this week. A source told the Sunday Times, they appreciate the public's love and affection for their children and know there is a public appetite to see them on their birthdays. They clarified that there was no firm decision regarding the Princess of Wales' decision to snap Prince Louis picture. Princess Kate will therefore have a difficult week before making the crucial choice pertaining to her youngest child. The Princess of Wales declared last month that she had started a prophylactic chemotherapy regimen after undergoing significant stomach surgery in January.